Hi everyone, I'm Sylvestre Buffy and I'm going to present to you iCal, Incremental Learning, Classifier and Representation Learning, a work done at IC Austria. So what is class incremental learning? So first, you, have, you want this typical like standard multi-class classifier that put images into categories. But this time, you, want him, you don't want him to have all the training that at the same time. Classes appear and disappear sequentially. Just imagine a robot just going through a room, seeing, I don't know, toys, and then going outside and seeing a big tiger. You don't want him for, to forget the first objects he's seen. So to, besides this catastrophic forgetting effect that you want him to avoid, he has to have a small memory to store, for example, images and a fixed size network. So how to achieve such a goal? Like we introduce our three components method, first composed of a distillation loss term, which helps stabilize the output, so you don't want the feature mapping to like change abruptly when you add new classes. And now that you have a feature representation that changes, you cannot really directly use the output of the network. So we introduce a nearest mean of exemplar classifier that for each new sample, we'll assign it to the nearest approximate class mean in the feature space. And this approximation is determined by a small subset of um, training images that I call exemplars. So how would you select them? We use a herding selection procedure that ranks all the training images in uh, such as to get the best approximation of class mean as possible. This, uh, this ranking is very useful because now we can, when we add new classes and we want to free up some memory, we just kick out the least ranked exemplars and now we have a full good memory. And just, we fill this memory with images because we need to recompute the data representation when uh, new classes arrive. Now for the experimental part, we'll take this distillation loss term and a normal classifier to compare as a baseline, also a normal feature extractor with fixed data representation and also like the unconstrained version with just a network that keeps learning when new classes arrive. So please let's look now at the graph above, uh, where we have like sci-fi 100, we had like new classes sequentially. On the x-axis, you have the number of added classes. On the y-axis, you have the accuracy, and all the numbers degrade, quite normal, because the more classes we add, the more complex is our problem. But when we look at the other methods, it just fell dramatically and very quickly when our method stays at a reasonable level. But let's look at uh, the confusion matrices. It's way better to illustrate the problem. Uh, let's look at the right one with a fine tuning so with no constraint on the network. On the x axis is a predicted class as they appear, and on the y axis is a, the true class as they appear. So the network just wants to predict the most recent classes, no constraint on the network. If we add now the distillation, this also like still a very sensible preference for the most recent classes. But with our method, we have a very homogeneous result with no preferences for old or recent classes. So as a takeaway message, we should maybe extend this like, use of exemplars to other class incremental or normal incremental learning methods. And I thank you for attention, and please come to our poster, number 20. <laughs>